Hello again, everybody. This is Jeff Mendello from Jacksonville, Florida. Amateur model builder. I'm showing you now the first model that I had built after taking a three year, four year hiatus. Um, this is a B 17 bomber uh, out of World War II. The name of this bomber is the Chow Hound. Um, I think most people are familiar with the B 17. There were many different variants. Um, this particular model is a B-17G, which was one of the, the better designed, with many improvements. Um, the name of this plane is the Chow Hound, and a little bit about the Chow Hound. Um, it began service in December of 1943 in the United Kingdom. Uh, the crew flew 15 missions before they were hit by uh, any kind of anti-aircraft or fighter machine gun. On their 15th mission, the uh, fuselage took a hit from a, a German fighter and it, it hit right in the chest of the dog, uh, the Chow Hound, which is their mascot. Um, on a sadder note, on uh, August 8, 1944, uh, the Chow Hound was hit by enemy aircraft fire over uh, Lonle La Baye, France, and the crew was lost. Um, here's a picture of the crew from 1943. Um, on a, on, on a, a better note, um, in the 1990s, family members and remaining crew members that had flown uh, the Chow Hound went to France and discovered uh, the wreckage. The town people, uh, the French, had put up a memorial, and it was a very touching uh, uh, reunion for the remaining um, crew members and the families of the crew members that had, uh, that had died. Um, when the aircraft went down, every crew member was killed, but there were other crew members that had previously flown the plane that were part of that. So, really nice. Uh, I did not do a good job on this model because I was pretty rusty. I had forgotten a lot of the fundamentals, um, patience being one of them. This is a Ravel model. It's very well built, very good instructions, painting, uh, color schemes. There's two or three different models that to, you know that you can build. Uh, I chose the Chow Hound because of how special I thought it was. Um, some of the mistakes I made, uh, the front um, machine guns go up and down but they don't move. They're supposed to move. So are these machine guns. After I had put the fuselage together I realized that I should have put this little bubble canopy in and so that's just kind of sticking on the top. Uh, the top turret doesn't move. The propellers do move. Um, the paint stink, uh, scheme is pretty good, but a lot of, I made a lot of mistakes. So, but still, it was a joy to build, especially with the history of the Chow Hound. Um, you know, here's a couple of shots. The Chow Hound had a white um, bottom turret uh, um, cowling, which was unusual. Why I don't know, to be honest with you. Uh, but it was a joy to build and uh, my heart goes out to the families of the crew members some 70, 80 years ago uh, gave their lives for our country and for the freedom of uh, Europe the people of uh, the French town were very grateful even after many many years so um, just to give you an idea of course I have my usual paints and my scissors and of course my highly recommended um, uh, the clear glue that uh, dries clear and you can also make parts with it very very much more forgiving than the uh, testers regular glue um, exacto knives pliers toothpicks a light and uh, sanding sticks very useful so another labor of love I'm gonna take this one and I'm gonna hang it somewhere in my house and uh, although it didn't turn out as well as I had hoped, it's still pretty cool to look at. So thanks for watching.